This is going to be your guide to turnips and playing the stock market in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now the first thing we need to do is get some turnips so we can play them six stonks. On Sunday, this character will appear on your island and her name is Daisy May. Now she'll offer a random price for the turnips. This time we have 101 bells. Now when you buy the turnips, you also can only buy them in batches of 10 at a time, and then you can hold 10 batches of 10 in your inventory, so pretty much 100 per inventory space. As you can see, it adds a zero next to it. So if we buy 10 of those, she'll do the math, little bit of transaction, little bit of animation, just mash your way through this, and then the exchange happens, gotta wait a little bit, and you got yourself some turnips. So the turnips are going to change price every day, and as you can see, it, it works like that. So that's going to be 100 turnips, that's going to be 10 turnips, which means that you can have a maximum storage on your character of 4,000 turnips if you want to play those sick stocks. Now what we can also do is just place them on the ground. Now they do rot, and we'll get into that later, but you can also use the ground as storage. So you can place them over your island, you can place them in your house, which means if you find a really good price, you can trade an insane amount of them at the same time, or you can just kind of hold them on to your inventory. Now let's talk about what you can do with the turnips. Now turnips are effectively real life stocks, which is why there's the pun, the stock market. So if you have turnips, you effectively have shares, and those shares are going to change in value over the course of a week, and even throughout the course of a day. Now, the big question is, can you time travel with them? Because even though you can buy turnips from Daisy May on Sunday, you can't sell them to the Nooklings until Monday, and then throughout the week, it's going to change price, and at the end of the week, the turnips will go rotten, therefore they become completely worthless. So what you can do is set your clock to 11.58 a.m., since the price will actually change twice throughout a day, and that is going to give you the ability to time skip a day ahead, if it works. So let's go and find out if it does. All right, so it's 11.59 a.m. is the next day, and now we can go and check in with the Nooklings to see what the current turnip price is. So the current price for turnips is 76 bells per turnip. Also, it just ticked over. So I was going to also test if the price changes with real time or if the price is going to change when you enter and leave the shop. But the second it became noon, the price updated because I just checked and it was actually 81 bells per turnip. Now it's 76. I have lost 25% of my investment, which feels pretty bad. These, these feel more like options than actual stocks, but either way, we're going to go and play this one out. So yeah, that's the thing, like you can buy the turnips for various prices from Daisy May, and then you want to hope that over the course of the week that the turnip prices are going to increase, and then you can get some pretty crazy uh, returns. But so far, I am down on quite a lot of money, and it shows some kind of trend that the turnip prices are trading down. However, I still have my 100 turnips, so let's go and time skip it again and see what happens. Also, I'm not even going to save, I'm just going to go for the time skip and see if that also has any kind of weird thing going on. Alright, it's a new day, let's try that again, and maybe our for fortunes have improved, and then we can get some money back from these turnips that we bought. So, go in the shop, they're going to give us a little greeting, let's go and see what the price is looking like today. So I think that's the big one, wow, it's 71 bells, it just keeps on going down. But I think that's the uh, big thing to note is that you can time travel with the turnips as long as you do not time travel past Saturday, 10 p.m. Because you can only sell the turnips directly to the Nooklings. You can't put them into the deposit box. So because of that, Saturday, when they close their shop, that is going to be it for the week. And then Daisy May is going to show up and that's going to be it. So as we can see right now, it's 11.59. I'm going to wait for it to take over. I'm going to see if the prices are looking any different. Nice. Not only is the virus affecting the real world, but it's also devastating the Animal Crossing universe. This isn't looking good. But there is hope, because Animal Crossing is an online connected game, and that is what makes the turnips pretty weird. So it really doesn't matter what I'm doing, unless you're like a totally single player game, you don't have the Nintendo online, you don't have any friends, you don't have any stuff like that. If you're actually like engaging with the Animal Crossing community, let, just talk to your friends, ask them to check the bell price for you or the turnip price for you, and if they have a 100, 200 price, then that means you can hop on over to their island and you can sell your turnips there, and it's really easy. Also, if just anyone anywhere posts that they have a really good price, you can just hop on over to their island and you can sell it there if they 
things get really dire. Which brings us to the turnip exchange communities made exclusively for Animal Crossing New Horizons. There's a Reddit, there's a Discord, people are exchanging information on Twitter, and there's an entire website dedicated to getting the best turnip prices. It's absolutely insane, and as you can see, 8,000 people are currently online looking to get a good price for their turnips. There's rules, there's all kinds of crazy things going on, and it's not just like a niche thing. Thousands of Animal Crossing strangers are waiting hours in line to sell turnips. Thousands of people waiting for hours. Look at this. I waited in a turnip queue for like three hours, but it was worth 100k to 660k. That's actually a trash return compared to what some people are getting and what they are doing to get it. So yeah, turnip selling party. We formed a queue outside of Nook or outside of the Nook store. Shout out to the generous host for their time. 53rd out of 1,200 people in a queue. Never did I imagine 2020 would I be waiting in queue to sell virtual turnips during the middle of a pandemic. So I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff. And that's because the prices get insane. Very, very rarely can you find prices over 500 and people are getting up to 600 and over per turnip, which means if I bought all my turnips for 100 and I sell them for 600, that's going to be a six times return. That's a lot of profit. Stayed up waiting until 3 a.m. Protocol underway. So we got all this stuff. And then Animal Crossing Discord is crazy with people doing deals. People asking for 400k tips for turnip prices and doing queues and stuff. A different world for my small town DS turnip operation. And that's the thing. The community standard is to tip 10%. Visitors should do this before they leave or tip 10% of each load. And that's the thing. There's also loads because like I said, you can do a full inventory of 4,000 turnips. So if you have a really good buy price on your island, you buy it up, you hop over to their island, and depending on how good or bad the queue is, what price you're willing to take and sell, then you can just kind of keep cycling through it. And then it's nice to tip but you don't ask for entry fees. However, some, they don't care. So we have this, the Turnip Exchange uh, website. This has all kinds of things. So 150 bells, 240 bells, 151. Uh, this is actually being updated really quickly. I saw a couple where it's like, yeah, look at this. 491, time travel free price, no fee, donations accepted, please join. I saw someone that had like a 500 and yeah, so we have a uh, flash sale, 25K per entry. I saw one that was like 500 that wanted a 100k entry, which is actually pretty good because if we go back to this, there was a picture where it's like, yeah, you're profiting to, well, not profit, but you know, you're making 2.4 million bells depending on the price. So tipping 100, 200k is nice, especially because the people that are hosting such a great price are just chilling there for hours or they also have like a system set up where it's like, I'd send them to my Dodo, or I'd send them my Dodo code, give them instructions to idle when they're done, that way I can end the session and kick them all at once, as opposed to 10 minutes of every person exiting. Since like, you do have to wait for the animation of them entering and leaving and people arriving on the island. It is a little tedious, but it's also really nice because you just share your Dodo code. And as you can see, uh, 528 bells, people are waiting, 440, waiting. Like there's actual cues. You click on it, it gets set up and tells you about how long it's going to take for all of this stuff to happen. And then, yeah, you join the queue, you get their Dodo code, and then as it updates, you're keeping up with it, and then you can go and get those pretty crazy prices. Now, let's talk about optimization. So I just roughly said, eh, you buy some turnips and you check your prices, and then maybe a friend's got a good price, or maybe you can just wait in hours and then you make a million bells or something. But let's go and see, like, how we can make this better for ourselves. Also, it is worth noting that Daisy May only appears in the morning between 5 a.m. and noon, so you do have to, like, kind of check on that. And if you're too late in the day, that means Daisy May will not appear. So I'm going to now skip ahead a week and see what the prices are to buy for this week. I did not sell my 10 turnips. I wasn't heavily invested. I'm just doing this for the sake of the video. And this is also where we talk about optimizing Daisy May because her prices can range from around 50 to 150 bells. 
Now, you don't want to buy on that high end, you know, buying high, selling low. Never a good strategy when it comes to stocks, but what you're looking for is a price under 100. If you can get a price under 100 bells or around 100 bells, that's going to be pretty safe if you're doing it single player. But also, you just have to kind of look at the numbers and look at the math. That if you're buying for even 150, but selling at 550, you're getting a profit of 500 bells per turnip and then that's going to be with an inventory of 4,000 turnips that's still a 2 million profit now it does kind of scale and get better from there depending on what's going on or if your island happens to have like that sudden spike during the week and you bought I don't know 10,000 turnips at 50 bells each then you're going to be well beyond rich Man, these loading times are killer though, and that's the thing, it's like maybe not uh, 1158 if you're trying to do, do a double price check, 1157 or 1156 depending on uh, how long it takes. That's also like what you need to know about the prices for buying from Daisy May and checking on that, and then kind of creating a loop between you and someone else's island, or just trying to play it safe for your island. Because if you don't have any of this crazy turnip exchange stuff going on, then what you want to do is, oh, good, she's right outside the house. Then what you want to do is just, you know, buy low, check throughout the week, and then maybe double your money. A 50% return is still pretty good. So what do we have today? 99 bells. Not really too insane, but I'll buy some. I'll see what's happening. And then I'll go and hop ahead for a couple of days. Because there's also some patterns that make it really interesting. So here's where things do get a little fancy when it comes to like time traveling and stuff and just the prices and trends. So there are turnip price patterns that are being looked into right now when it comes to Animal Crossing New Horizons. So depending on what you have, there's going to be a chance of having a different pattern going on. So I had a uh, downward trend it looks like because it just kept on going and going, didn't look standard or anything like that, which means there's a high chance that I could get a sudden spike trend and this is what it looks like. So yeah, downward trend, it just went bad and didn't really get better from there. There's also the chance of getting a slow spike, which averages out around the middle of the week. But then there's a sudden spike, which looks to happen more towards the end of the week. And then just going off some of the other patterns, instead of skipping a day ahead, skipping around three to four days ahead could show you the best chance for the trend or give you an idea of what's going on with the turnips. And then maybe t making use of that. So if we have like a sudden spike, turnip prices could be looking pretty good and I did get them at a buy of 99 so I'm gonna skip ahead to about Thursday I'm gonna see if that kind of brings anything for me so Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and I'll do the 11 a.m. to see what happens and or not 11 yeah 11 uh 30 57 whatever Numbers, math, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm just going to test something random for myself and see if I get any kind of success about it because there is a lot of complicated stuff going on and there are extra notes that people have about it. The highest price will be the one after the price has gone up twice in a row. So you're looking for you know, the price going up consistently twice and then you get that third price is going to be the highest and then it's going to tail off. But it looks like there might be an opportunity to still catch like a decent price or something if you miss the high spike. Or maybe just jumping around random days. Like, you know, what if you just check every Wednesday, Thursday, and then one day it's magically 500? That's when you get your friends to help you out, and then they tip, and then that's how you make your profit. I don't know. Let's see if we got any good luck today. And the current price is just 77 bells per turnip, so it doesn't look like we really got any kind of spike. It actually went down. I'm guessing that could just be a regular trend, because the regular trend does kind of uh, tail off. So it's like, yeah, I bought it around 9, went up, down, up down again around Thursday so that's kind of thing now I also did try some time traveling like I went back check the day went back check the day and the prices seem to change whenever you load up the game for that day it's also worth noting that going back in time will spoil all of your turnips so it's not like you can try to be like oh man maybe I missed some kind of spike or maybe I missed a price by skipping too far ahead or trying to reset the day while you have turnips you know if I would go back and then forward and back and forward until it goes up to 400 bells doesn't happen don't do that. So because of that, things are just kind of kind of weird. It's hard it's hard to predict. It's not like you can just kind of keep resetting a 500 turn up day or something. But maybe you can. I haven't been that lucky. I haven't like super hard checked it out, but um it's pretty random. There's not like a hard way of exploiting it unless one of your friends get luck gets lucky or you do some multiplayer stuff. But if you're doing it single player, it's still pretty risky and you should probably 
pay really close attention. Also, there's a lot of people that don't time travel, so you just check it various times throughout the day. I'm saying that the safer price is to buy around 75 if Daisy May has it, but then you can still take a gamble. You know, if they're 120 and you don't want to wait a week, buy them. Maybe they go up to 150, maybe they go up to 200. Who knows? It's wild. But that's what we have about turnups, and I'm going to be playing around with it for a bit. So if you end up enjoying the video, don't forget to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you've observed from the turnip exchange. I'm going to play around with it, see if there's any like single player cheese that can give you millions of bells. Right now, it just kind of seems pretty straightforward. So guys, enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.